thank you so much for being here and for making this uh, uh, opportunity for the world to get to know our beautiful pure energy and crystal healers. And um, yes, I just wanted to invite everybody to the Pure Energy Healing Academy, where we're going to um, touch on your experience um, at the Pure Energy Healing Academy through the courses and also, more importantly, your healing practice now. And uh, um, just to invite people who are looking for healers, for a potential distant healing session because this works and this is what we've uh, all done uh, at the academy and seen the results yet. Yeah, so I guess we can start with um, uh, maybe a first question of, um, have you been a healer before uh, or is this your first time uh, healing after the one of the pure energy healing courses, whether it was the uh, pure energy healing or the crystal course. So um, whoever would like to say anything first, uh, you can wave and I'll <laughs> pick the first person. Okay, Heather, go right on. <laughs> I'll go first. Hi, everyone. Hugs. Um, I uh, worked with, um, hi. <laughs> I worked with uh, special needs and domestic violence uh, individuals for 10 years, over 10 years, prior to taking the first pure energy healing course. Um, and I feel like I was healing people then, but in a different way, helping them through their, their traumas in a different way. And after taking the first pure energy healing course, it allowed me to... Um, help them heal from within as well as giving them the tools without and then now taking the pure energy crystal course was more refining me it helped me um step back and see that the work also needs to be done within on myself and then allowing the crystals to really enhance what i was already doing so mm -hmm. I feel like we're all healers. We're mm -hmm. all healing each other. If you're petting a dog, you're healing the dog a little bit. If you're sitting and laughing with your kids, you're healing them a little bit. And I think that the going through the courses helps refine that and helps you as an individual find your place in directing wherever you really want that healing to go and helps the right people find you because what I'm, I do is not gonna be what anyone else does. It's not gonna help. The same person can go to four pure energy healers and it'll be a magical experience with four different people healing different aspects of that person. So yeah, that's that was my experience with the courses. Amazing. Um, thank you for sharing that, Heather. Um, and would you say that um, right now, your healing has um, expanded or are you still sticking to your um, special needs uh, children and that's the clients that you want to serve or are you? Um... Oh, it's expanded, <laughs> but it expanded immediately because um, my first ever client was a client with uh, cancer. So that ended up being something that I'm familiar with, with my family. My grandmother had cancer and I cared for her up until the end. Um, but my clients that are coming to me now are a spectrum of people. Other healers are coming to me for healing. So um, it's not something that I would ever place a boundary on or, oh, I only heal these people because I don't feel like I'm healing these people. I feel like we're healing each other. We're working together. I'm more of a conduit of healing for them to open up and realize that they can continue the work. They can do it. Mm -hmm. I give them power to say, hey, I'm okay. I can do this. I can work through this. I can be open to this. I've got a question. 
Yes. Um, do you feel uh, after the course that your awareness, your sensitivity, your understanding of crystals have become slightly different or do, do you still have the same respect and understanding and feel for them? Is that, did you learn anything like like I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's quite a deep question, but you know. Yes, um, you know it's I mean? interesting because I've gravitated towards crystals since I was a little girl, a little, little girl. And that's all I would want for my birthdays were crystals. And as I grew up, you know, life happened and no more crystals and um, getting back into um, healing again, I got back into crystals naturally, but taking the course really, like I said, healed me on a level that opened me up to where I wasn't trying so hard to, you know, I have my crystals here. I wasn't like, oh, I hope this is the right crystal. And oh, let me think about what this client might need. And it just went out of the window. And I had quite a few experiences while on the course, while doing healings, not only on others, but on myself, where I didn't even realize the... I don't know the awesomeness, the magnificence of like the power that you could feel. Right. That's where I'm going. The power that you could feel from something that I thought I was already doing, you know, I thought I was already feeling something. And now I'm like, whoa, yeah. almost to the point where I have to put it down. I have to step away. I have to take a break Hopefully because it gets to be intense. Yeah. And, but in the best possible way, because so now not- I really feel the, the, no question, the, the question is Amazing. what is what is that what is that piece that made that happen and mm. ha, do you know what i mean that this is where it would be lovely to try and understand that that what that piece is that's missing for me the piece when, when it happened i know the exact moment that it happened it was during the second day when uh on the course when we were doing the meditation with the crystal and um i think it was the second day where you pick at random a crystal and you just try and attune and relax and release and clear and it was that moment that i felt it within my body fully so So that so hmm? the point the point being with that is that it basically happened when you went into a kind of meditation, relaxation, no pressure, no, no, look for it, don't look for it, or just, just, you were just at peace. And, and all yeah. of a sudden, something just happened that you, you, it, it just took you to another place. It was like a different energy. And oh my God, like it's, it's fascinating that I speak to many healers who say the same thing. It normally happens, not in, these amazing moments with 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 shamans and with this or it, it just in that moment of inner peace without no force no 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 nothing it's just in that nothingness it's in that emptiness that we can be filled with the energy of of a crystal does, does that make a bit of sense yes because it was in that moment that i took the pressure off right it was in the moment that i allowed myself to not feel like I had to do this or get it right, or I could get it wrong. There was no right or wrong. It was, I'm here in this place to just release and connect. And Mm -hmm. even during the course, it was, if you don't feel anything, no problem. So there was, there's literally no pressure to, to do anything, but be. And and within that missing piece of, of what you've just said is probably one of the greatest keys to to really understanding not only yourself but 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 the energy of crystals well i think what, what's beautiful is that um the academy attracts people who are healers and those who are newly discovering themselves as a healer and what's the most amazing thing is when someone like you heather takes on healing and heals themselves because that's so important that your healer that you go to continues to nurture themselves because if you 
forget about yourself and you're just focused on all the clients, then you're not balanced in your energy. So I really admire that you've taken that time for yourself to, to allow for that healing and then discovery of what you've just experienced. Yeah, my feeling as well is that when you're giving a healing session, if you can bring that very important point that you just made about yourself and in that moment and bring it to a healing session, I think that's the key to healing with crystals and giving a good healing session that no pressure, no, no need to know anything, no, no, no trying, no forcing, no, no worrying, no thinking. It's like in that moment is where we become the perfect vessel for the feeling of this emptiness that I talk about, where in that emptiness, there is everything. It's, it's incredible. Right. And so you you are also in a beautiful place, uh, Mount Shasta, where you do your healings. Now, if someone wanted a healing session with you, would they have to be there and go there? Or are you also offering online distant healings? Oh, I offer online, of course, um, distant healings, no problem. Phone, online, uh, you can send me a picture. It's all the same, same. It's um, just amazing energy and moving here i've been here less than a year i have to say that i'm so glad that the crystal course came up during this time of acclimating to this energy it's like just plugged me in and supercharged me and got me it's just gotten me to a place where i feel like so much more connected and it's magic. It's magic here. I'm in the middle of a forest. I'm, I wake up and look at the mountain every day. It's fantastic. It's, you don't have to be here to do the healings, but it's sure a beautiful place. And I'm so very grateful to be able to experience this and channel that energy into my healings every single, every single day, every single time. Beautiful. Amazing. It's so refreshing to see someone pursuing their passion and, and being so uh, lit up from within with their work. It's really uh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Long may you hold on to that beautiful energy and you are a, a breath of fresh air. You are you just speaking to you and looking at you and watching your energy and the smile. It's enough for a healing session in itself. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, people so much i love giving so much and i like seeing the transformation i am a survivor of domestic abuse so i know that that struggle that that where you can be pushed down so low and feel like you can't see the light and i i just love seeing people heal i just love seeing the light that comes back into their spirit and, and seeing the transformation and pure energy healing has given me the way to show them just don't give up. Don't give up. There's always a way. It doesn't matter. It might happen bit by bit by bit, but it's still there and it works. It works. Amazing. I've seen it. I've seen it work firsthand. And I believe in it with my whole heart. I believe in it with my whole spirit. And I wouldn't do it if I didn't believe in it. Exactly. Exactly. It. I wouldn't be here if I didn't believe in it. Exactly. Totally. Well said. And, and, yeah. and you know, uh, you are the epitome of, of a healer. And so are all of our beautiful pure energy healers. And you want to feel comfortable when you go to a healer. You want to feel like uh, taken care of and, and not worry about the well-being of the healer or, you know, or, or worry about their energy. And sounds like, um, you know, you are in a beautiful place and, uh, physically emotionally spiritually and what a beautiful healer you are and we are honored to have you uh, be part of the family of pure energy healers thank you so much heather we will um include all of your uh contacts in uh this um video uh, i guess in the description uh and um 
hopefully uh, the world will get to know more of your beautiful work. Yes, well, <laughs> I'm sure your energy will um, certainly pull in many beautiful souls who need the help. So keep shining bright and thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you so much. I'm honored. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Uh, so let's hear from Fiona. Welcome, uh, Fiona. And uh, hi, I you're welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, so Heather said it all, actually. Um, so everything I'm going to say, it's practically repeating what Heather said. Uh, for me, the biggest thing, I, I have been a crystal healer before the academy, uh, before I took the class. Um, I wanted to make sure I had everything down. Plus, there's always new things to learn. And there's always new ways of adapting yourself. Um, we can all learn from each other. So um, I was very interested in um, seeing if there's anything um, more that I can learn. So um, for me, uh, prior to this class, I, uh, I give crystal healing face to face. Um, so so uh, prior, they had to be here where I'm located. I'm lo located in the Netherlands. And um, uh, during the, the, the course, I've learned especially uh, more about distant healing. That's something that I didn't know prior. So um, for me now, thanks to this uh, course, I am ecstatic to be able to offer distant healing. So I've been practicing a lot of family and friends, and it's exactly the same. <laughs> so um, Mark and uh, Leila, you have given me the confidence that I needed to be able to give the distant healing which has excited me even more because I've always limited myself before. And I thought, no, the person needs to be in front of me. And um, I learned during this course that that's not the case. So, um, and um, just especially the biggest thing for me was um, letting go of self-limitations and um, having more confidence to, to help as much people, as many people as possible. Amazing. Amazing. What a beautiful healer you are as well. And what, what a, a, an amazing gift to uh, share your healing across the world now, Fiona. So it's not just in your um, healing uh, practice um, in Netherlands. So the world is now a more beautiful place because you can send your healing far and wide. And I think it's one of those things that unless you experience it, you just can't fathom that this distant healing works. Mm -hmm. And to me, it just makes sense because if everything is energy and we can think about someone who's across the world and they can feel the nudge of calling us because we thought about them in the same time, well, that is this connection, this universal uh, vibration that we all can tap into. And distant healing is that's what it is just connecting to the person that you're giving healing to and uh doing your work and really um it can be done from anywhere it's beautiful yeah i i it was what you said was beautiful i remember when i was like you it, it can't be done no I, I i need to be face to face i need to be and that's it right this stubbornness because you know this is it and then my my phone rang I need your help. Okay, no problem. Cup, cup, I can't. I'm in another country. Well, I can't really help you then. Look, Mark, I need your help. Please, please. Okay, okay. Then the phone rang again the following day. The same message from a different client. Again, the next day. And then I realized, okay, your stubbornness needs to stop. You need to listen because somebody's telling you something. So I listened and I never looked back and I realized it was my stubbornness that kept me from moving forward, right? This brain and this limited thinking. And that's when I took the book and threw it away and said, I am going to just follow what feels right. Listen to my clients and follow that and listen to my heart. And it sounds like you, you've broken free from that which many healers don't break free from. Pure energy healing means it's your pureness and it's healing that we, we bring forward, which is unique, that when it enters through us and within us, it's a unique energy to us, nobody else. So I'm very cautious not to say that pure energy healing is who I am. 
No, absolutely not. You are the healer of pure energy, right? And that's a beautiful thing because then there's no limits. You're not following any set patterns anywhere. You, you are open and you are ready for anything. And that I believe makes the most beautiful healer because you're not rigid. You're not stuck into in, in 10 years ago when we needed a certain practice, which now has changed our, everything has changed now. So the way we heal because of people who are ill in different ways, we need to find ways of healing them. So we can't be rigid at any given moment. And that's why I say pure energy healing is what we give, not what we are. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, and um, that has really set me free. That has really um, removed that limiting belief away. Um, and I, I feel like I can, I can, um, the world is, is my oyster and is, there's no such thing as time and space. And um, I can help people more and I can help them help them better because like Heather said before I when I at prior I was working and hoping that they were feeling something hoping that it was working this is working this is you know and the more you just let go of that and you just flow and and just be in nothingness what you've mentioned Mark that um has uh, helped me flow a lot easier and um, I noticed that that's actually the best way of healing and um, just letting the energy flow through you and not really giving your all giving your own energy to it that's yeah. amazing. so well said and and as you uh, learn uh, or have learned certain things at the academy during your courses we also learn from all of your experiences and we expand by hearing how uh you as a different healer work with your clients so it's just like a full circle for everyone and we're really blessed to have you uh fiona as part of our uh, family of healers, thank you so much for um, joining the course and 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 uh, becoming a pure energy crystal healer. Um, and we will share your contact details as well for those who are interested in a distant healing or uh, Netherlands healing. <laughs> Yes, for sure. Definitely. I'm super blessed and honored to have been part of this academy. I actually printed down my um, my certificate. I framed it. I put it up on the wall. I'm super proud of it. So um, thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, you're very yeah, welcome. We're, 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 proud, we're proud of you. <laughs> thank, thank, you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we have one more beautiful healer tonight with us, uh, Robin. Hello and welcome and thank you for uh, being another beautiful soul who has uh, joined the uh, family of Pure Energy Healers. Uh, tell us a little bit about your experience and your practice as a healer. Sure, sure. Well, my practice began probably almost 20 years ago. I've been a, a pharmacist and I know that's more on the allopathic side, but um, it was really moving during the course where Mark said the fact that you took that route initially, I know you wanted to help people. And my father took me to a health food store as a little girl. I can remember I was about four or five and I fell in love with the crystal section, the aromatherapy section. And I think from that point on, I knew I was a natural healer. So um, basically for the past few years, I've really been converting my practice to holistic natural medicine. And I focus on women primarily, we have a, do have a few men, but helping them to get the best sleep that they've ever had. So I focus on people that have chronic insomnia, um, really high stress. Most of their insomnia is really from stress-induced issues. So I help them to get the sleep, address the stress finally, and increase their productivity. So what I love, my biggest takeaway, I think, from this course, um, Mark got to the point in the course where he asked us, um, you know, what is the most powerful crystal that you all, and I'm, I'm on my, you know, seat, just waiting to hear the answer, ready to write it down. And he said, you as the human body, um, being more than 70% water, you're the most powerful crystal. And these crystals um, that we have, these are just um, really the cherry on top. And so I, I love that. Um, one of the major takeaways that we've all talked about tonight, I think is healing ourselves and we have that responsibility before we heal others to make sure that we're in 
great help. Um, and I, I think I shared last time we spoke about the Moldavite. I, I've been scared for years to, <laughs> to actually get Moldavite. So I, I finally took the plunge and the healing has been amazing. Um, it's brought traumas to surface that I didn't even know I had. Um, and it's clearing those traumas. So not just bringing them to surface and leaving them there, but clearing them out. And I've been able to offer a couple of free sessions to my clients. And they've already talked about how, you know, some of the sessions have really decreased their stress, um, getting them adequate sleep. And they're, they're excited about working with the crystals too. So I'm really thankful. One of my favorite ones, I think Layla introduced this one, which was the um, Bumblebee Jasper. I didn't even know this one existed. And I, I'm just loving the crystals and the energy I'm getting from them. So th those are probably my biggest takeaways. Um, I want to thank both of you all for giving us these opportunities. And um, I just feel honored to be able to have to take your course. So thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much, Robin. It's such a pleasure and honor uh, for us to have such a beautiful, caring, loving, kind soul and healer be part of uh, the family of healers. And uh, with your uh, strengths and your wisdom, I mean, I, I want to be a, a he, heal, healed by all of you. Yeah, I want a healing too. session with each yeah, one yeah, of you. It's, it's so beautiful. And um, I assume that you also give distant healing sessions as well. I don't know where in the U.S. you're located. Yeah, I'm located in here in the U.S. in Northern Illinois, and I definitely give healing sessions. And they can book there. I'm always giving away free initial sessions, so they can book those at isleepwellrx.com. And I, they can also um, look at the other information you'll provide too. So I, I'm really excited about it. My clients are thrilled and I just, I'm, I'm ready to give more. So I'm really excited. Thank you again. <laughs> For me, listening to you, it's like the wisdom that you've gained over the years through the knowledge of uh, your work has given you insight to all aspects of um, the uh, health whether it be mainstream or alternative, which is a, a beautiful thing because now you have the knowledge to know everything. So you embrace what feels right now and you follow that truth. So I, I can clearly see that, you know, um, you are embracing natural um, kind of, what did you say this morning, grandmas, um, teaching, teaching sort of grandma's and, way you know, the wisdom <laughs> that we, we, we've lost. And I think we're all going into that. I think we're all, I think this year is really giving us that, that um, incentive to look at the old ways because they are, they are the healing ways. And this yeah. energy healing is a natural healing way, non-evasive. It's just pure love. So keep going, Robin, you're doing oh. wonderful. Thank you all so much. I want you all to keep going too and offering this to the whole planet. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Robin. And thank you uh, all beautiful angels, our amazing healers. We are honored and blessed, like I said, uh, for having you all be part of uh, the Pure Energy Healing uh, family. And it is a time that we are all going back to the roots, back to uh, the, the pure, simple ways of healing that were there for millennia since the recorded time in history. And I think people are awakening and more open to embracing this kind of healing. And it's amazing. So we're really blessed and we, we're truly honored and, and inspired by seeing each journey of uh, the amazing healers who come through the academy and how uh, their path evolves in, in healing. Some of them come just to do the course for their own healing. Some of them discover a new passion and a new career. And some of them are already healing and just now blooming even further in their own uh, expansion. And that's what you had to share with us tonight. So we're really um, honored and excited to have you be part of the um, family of uh, Pure Energy Healers. And we look forward to seeing you again and uh, hearing about your um, practice. And um, here we are at the Academy and sharing 
uh, your path and your uh, healing experience with the world. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Layla. What were eloquently put, I can't say anything other than that. There's just one thing that came to me. I absolutely love healers free of ego, and there is no ego here tonight. So bless you and keep that energy up. Thank you. Thank you for making the world a better place. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, guys. We love you. We love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.